MGT, what it do? It's your boy Moody Star, and I'm back again with another video. If you're new, you already know what to do, man. Become a subscriber, like the video, and join MGT. This is a channel where I like to highlight current events and talk about my spiritual walk here in this beautiful fucked up matrix. Now, first of all, I gotta say a special shout out to anybody that's holding on to your energy, going within, and being high vibrational. Here at MGT, this is what we do. We work on ourselves every single day. Literally every single day. So, in this video, I'm gonna talk about energy, bro, and the power of, like, you retaining your energy, of course, and essentially, bro, you are illuminating yourself. And when I say illuminate, I mean like in a way where you're going to literally make women feel you, feel your aura, feel your presence, feel your electricity, feel your life force energy. Women, women are going to feel you, literally. And I know this, okay? I've been on my retention journey for over a year and some change now. And I'm telling you right now, this is the most female attraction I've ever experienced in my entire fucking life. Not even gonna lie to you. This is the most women that I actually, that I can actually say like, damn, I, well, honestly, I, well, no, I'm not lying. I'm telling the truth. This, this is really what happened, bro. Like this, me starting my retention journey ended up me, ended up in me almost inadvertently getting somebody pregnant. You feel me? There's a lot of things that we don't know when uh, when we're on our retention journey. We don't know how powerful we really are. We don't know how how much more, like, if you really think about it, bro, when you bust one nut, that's like equivalent to running 20 miles. Okay? That's, equivalent, that's like equivalent to running 20 miles. There was a YouTuber that used to make it was a small YouTuber. He used to make videos, and this shit always stuck with me. Uh, he don't make videos no more, but niggas say, <laughs> if you bust a nut, you literally set yourself back 2,000 years. You feel me? And like, and, and I feel like I understand what he's saying, like 2,000 years in the, in the sense of like us evolving, you know, evolution. You get what I'm saying? That's a part of us. And again, we don't really like to talk about it or think about it, but like literally whenever that happens, like that's like a part of us that's that's leaving. You feel me? Yeah, we can reproduce our own type of energy or whatever, but that is a type of creative energy that, you know, we can't get back. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. So really think about how powerful you are just by retaining your energy. Understand that women will feel you more than ever before. Like, I'm at the point right now, and I know sometimes I may sound like a broken fucking record, but I'm at the point right now where I, I am ignoring all the fucking signs, okay? I'm, I, I'm not, I'm, bro, I'm not in the position right now to, it's stressful, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It's stressful. It's stressful. It get It gets a little stressful because... Once you once you understand energy and emotional intelligence and just all that other stuff, bro. Oh my goodness! Like when it comes to women and shit, like it get it get a little stressful. It's like it's it's like you will deal with multiple women. Multiple women will fuck with you. They will try to do everything in their power to kind of trap you. Niggas be trapping females, but but females be trapping niggas too. Trust and believe. So. I'm at the point right now in my retention journey when it comes to all the like, bro, when I say on a daily fucking basis, I begin choosing signals. I be having to ignore that shit like there's no tomorrow. I really do. It gets a little bit stressful sometimes. Sometimes I'll be like, fuck, like I really want to just act and I really want to just do certain shit. But I know at this current like, bro, patience, dedication, stand, uh, stand like focus on the goal is very 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 important bro if you still are if you're single right now you still don't have like a relationship and shit don't worry don't worry about it period because there's a lot of options there's a lot of women you feel me and there's a whole lot of time and opportunity for shit to go the fuck down so in my video yesterday i was talking about how like you know, some women will become obsessed with your energy, and it's true, bro. Because again, you're not, you're not out here just being active. When she becomes something that's like of a mystery or something that's rare, women now women gotta uh, gotta have a taste of that. 
they have to have a taste of that. Now, we are we are kind of balancing out the playing field just by retaining our energy because when whether we know it or not, bro, like there's some women that you have have you ever have you ever met a female, whether it's at school or at work or at church or wherever. Have you ever met a female that uh like when you see her, it's like she ain't got nothing that she want physically. Like she ain't got the 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 the, the uh the best looking face or the best looking body. Sometimes, most of the time, it just be the body. You feel me? She doesn't have nothing that you're attracted to, yet you are super attracted to her. Do you do you ever wonder why? That's because a couple of things. Number one, with the woman, that's their first language. That nonverbal language and shit, like putting themselves together and kind of like, you know, making themselves glow. That's a nonverbal language that females been speaking since they was young and shit. So they're a little bit a more they're they're a little bit more aware to that type of type of energy when it comes to them expressing themselves. With that being said, there there will be some women, and then this is how you know you're maturing, bro, because you, you you're literally leveling up from just getting out of your lower chakras to getting to your heart chakra. I'm gonna talk about the solar plex too. I'm glad I brought up the uh, chakras and shit, but um, when we can get when we can get through our chakras type shit and and pretty much like dwell in the higher realms of ourselves, that's when we really see true real reality. That's why you like you are you're probably attracted to a female that probably has no attributes that you like, but because of her energy and how she's carrying herself. She becomes way more attractive than a lot of these females. This shit happens a lot. And I know there's always that there's going to be that one woman that you don't even know why. Like, bro, there's there's a couple right now that I know. There's one in particular. I had to say something to her. I'm sorry. It was fucking with me. It was fucking with my energy. Again, women are constantly in uh, in, in communication, constant communication with the uh, masculine energy. You know, as the feminine energy, you got the feminine energy and, and it's constant, constant communication. I got to make a video about that. Like, see more attention and, and constant communication when you're on your journey. What to look out for. Because the more you cultivate your energy, literally, the more you get into, you know, just being aware of your energy. And it's not all over the place. You don't feel like shit out of nowhere sometimes. Like, women... They 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 gravitate to towards uh, the protective type of energy and that energy that has like control. So just understand if a if a female does seem very attractive to attract attractive to you, and she doesn't even have all the attributes, she probably was she probably was saying something non verbally to you before you even realized like damn she's kind of cute or damn she's kind of like, bro, every single day, bro, I be going through moments where I be looking at certain females. I be like, y'all niggas don't see this? They be a bad low key. You feel me? And I got to say, I got to I gotta shout out to some of those women out there that, that like, bro, they don't really, it's like, yeah, the physical form is important, but they focus more of their energy on the shit that we can't see. That's what gets me, um, that's what gets me attracted. Like, if I... Once you understand like the rhythm of how a female move type shit and she's moving like on your type of time, you'll be like, fuck, like, damn, like, fuck the shell, fuck how she look. Now it's just literally about energy and shit. Like when we was growing up, what, what do we used to say? Oh, it's not about the outside. It's what's on the inside. They was not fucking lying. They wasn't. I, when I was young, I didn't give a fuck about none of that inside shit. Okay, the only insight I was thinking about was getting inside her pussy. That's it. And she was fine as fuck or she had a fat ass. That's all I was thinking about. Bro, growing up now, dog, <laughs> most of those females that I that that's that that I looked at like that, I mean, bro, let's let's just be honest. You feel me? They're not the most ideal female to pair up with me. Let's just be honest. You feel me? A lot of these women, they probably been through in more been through more streets than niggas have in 30 years, 50 years. Some of these females. You feel me? So, just understand you're not doing this shit for no reason. You feel me? 
I think you just have to kind of pay attention to the nonverbal language. You know what I'm saying? Especially when it comes to, to, to the opposite sex. The more masculine you get, the more um, choosing signals you'll get. And you won't even, and sometimes you won't even recognize it, bro. It's just that crazy. But in the event that you do, it's just all about keeping a balance and staying focused on your fucking goal. Because the moment, the very second that you say, you know what, I'm going to give her a chance or, oh, I'm going to, I'm just going to do this or I'm going to do that or I'm going to, the moment you steer, you, you kind of leave or you, you shift your focus from your goal to just frivolous uh, activity, that's when I like literally, it's a lot of things that could go down. It's like, essentially you don't want to spiral down, but, um, a lot of the times, whether we know it or not, bro, a lot of the times when we do low vibrational shit, sometimes it actually leads to us becoming depressed. Like, literally. Because it's like, okay, ah, I released. Subconsciously, your body's like, oh, shit, I just gave some shit off. Now I got to chill. Now I got to relax. Now I got to, man, you know what? I ain't got nothing to lose. I just released. You feel me? Now you get into that state where now, now you start to get depressed. It's going to happen, bro. Like, I, I mean... This is why I don't even play around. You feel me? When it comes to my attention journey, like you either in it or you not, you know what I'm saying? And it has to be, you have to, one thing I say, one thing I'm going to say before I go, the art of control, especially when it comes to, again, the things that we can't see, you know, controlling our mind, uh, controlling like what we envision is it, very important. It comes down to what we envision every single day. Like, you're not going to make an action without, like, having, like, a um, picture of what you're going to do. Like, you, it, it's it's almost impossible to do that shit. You feel me? So, let's just say you're chilling. And if you're ever, if you ever get into a mode where, like, you're just relaxing, get your ass up, start working out, start working on something, do a podcast, do something. Okay? Because, again, you don't want your mind to kind of wonder and idle. And now you're thinking about the good times you have with lower vibrational bitches. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how it, it actually starts. But going back to just staying on your purpose, staying on um, staying on the retention journey, bro, it's a beautiful fucking thing. You will attract everything. But I mean, like I said, I'm at that point in time right now where I'm just literally just trying to stay focused. Let me just stay focused on the goal. Let me do what the fuck I do. When I get to another level in life, yeah, and I have more room and more quit, more cushion to deal with more women and shit, yeah, then I'll do that. You know what I'm saying? But ain't no motherfucking rush, dog. You know, you can't rush greatness. You feel me? So, on that note, I'm finna end the video for today. Make sure you like, share, comment down below. I'm gonna definitely see you guys. Make sure you guys just stay on your purpose. <clears throat> stay on retention journey, bro. It's, I, I'm telling you, it feels very, very... It's, a, it's an amazing feeling. When you can walk in your own confidence, walk in your own God essence, and you know you can get any female at any given time. It's a great feeling. You don't always have to act on it, but you know you can. You know what I'm saying? And um, just be aware. Just be aware like of the nonverbal um, communication that women are that women are sending to you. It's a reason why you probably find that chick very attractive. Like she was already putting in that work before you even noticed. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like we balance the uh, playing field by just being ready. We don't have to get ready. Like, once we're ready, like, when we put ourselves in that vibration of just being ready, like, it, it's, it's over. You know what I'm saying? Be ready for greatness. Be ready for high vibrational actions that's going to take place. And now a lot of the lower vibrational shit that we did before, have, like, 90% of the shit we won't do anymore. But when it comes to female attraction and um being intimate and all that quote-unquote good stuff the good jazz oh yeah it'll be like no feeling like ever before bro i promise you this is why i'm chilling and i don't want to give good dick away to a female that don't deserve this shit i'm just saying you know what i'm saying but with that being said i'm gonna end the video make sure you like share comment comment down below and i'm gonna see you guys drop a dollar in the cash out to, to support the team by the way one last thing merch is coming I already started started on the artwork. I'm gonna have three designs. The two main designs I'm gonna have, and then that third, the third design is gonna be like a special edition 
MGT cultivated cultivated energy shirt. So it's gonna be lit. So I'm gonna definitely see you guys on the next video, man. Peace.